It is quite true that man lives by bread alone when there is no bread. But what happens to man's desires when there is plenty of bread and when his belly is chronically filled? At once, other and higher needs emerge and these, rather than physiological hungers, dominate the organism. What's the meaning of life? Who are we? What do I need? What do I want? We often ask ourselves these questions when our mind begins to wander. Silence fills the room and we're alone with nothing more than our thoughts. But what if I were to tell you that there is a theory in psychology that can not only help answer those personal questions, but it can help motivate you as well. I am talking about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This is a motivational theory in psychology created by 20th century psychologist and philosopher, Abraham Maslow. The hierarchy being five tiers of a human's needs in life. The bottom of the pyramid starts with physiological needs and the top self-actualization. One must satisfy their needs on the lower part of the hierarchy before being able to focus on the higher levels of the hierarchy. Although, don't think that you have to fully satisfy the lower needs before moving to the top. Maslow later stated that it's a false impression that a need must be satisfied 100% before the next need emerges. So what are these needs? And can meeting each one in order help motivate you to the top? self-actualization? The answer to that life question. Let's break it down, or up. Physiological. Do you get enough rest? Food, drink plenty of water. Do you fulfill the basics of human survival? Without these needs being satisfied, one often cannot function properly. These biological needs include food, drink, shelter, clothing, warmth, reproduction, and sleep, among others. In order to focus on a higher meaning in your life, you'll need to survive first and attend to your basic biological needs. Since your physiological needs are at the base of the pyramid or hierarchy, as part of the first four levels, it's considered a deficiency need. Deficiency needs occur when deprived of our basic biological needs. Of course, when deprived of something, your focus will often be on regaining what it is you are desperately needing. So if you go without food for a long time, you will of course feel hungry and be motivated to satisfy your need for food. The longer without food, the stronger that intensity to satisfy it. So each tier you satisfy, the more your focus will turn upwards to the next set of needs until eventually you get out of those four deficient needs, they become salient and your motivation shifts to growth needs, the top tier. But before we can get there, we must continue to explain the rest of the four deficient needs. Up next is safety. The next needs you'll wanna satisfy to feel more motivated are your safety needs. These include security of your health, employment, resources, morality, family, body, and property. Are you taking care of your health? Is your job fairly secure so you can reduce stress to focus on additional needs? What about your family? Are you caring for the ones you love as much as they care for you? And then we have love and belonging. Who do we genuinely get along with? Who do we connect with? Once you've satisfied and focused a bit on your safety and physiological needs, your mind may wander and you may begin to feel lonely if you don't have a sense of connection. Do you feel you need others more often in your life? Do you feel a part of a group? Maslow's love and belonging needs include family, friendship, intimacy, sexual intimacy, and a sense of connection. After we begin to satisfy these needs, we may feel we finally belong somewhere. We're comfortable with the connections we've built when we feel loved and have others in our lives, we then shift our main focus onto something else, ourselves, which brings us to esteem. Do you feel confident? Have you achieved something you've strived for? Do others respect you? The final deficient need is esteem. Maslow divides esteem needs into two categories, esteem for oneself and the desire for reputation or respect from others in your life. 
Esteem for oneself can include often feeling a sense of achievement, being independent, mastering a skill, and high self-esteem, your confidence in yourself. The desire for reputation or respect from others can involve your status or prestige. Satisfying your esteem tier can mean not only respect from others, but more importantly, respect for yourself. So you've mastered the four lower tiers. Remember, Maslow urges us that those four tiers do not need to be satisfied 100%. So you feel confident and satisfied enough in those four tiers. So much so that your mind begins to wander somewhere else. Your motivation to focus on yourself has become stronger. You look inwards and discover something new about yourself. This is where you begin to realize your potential. All other needs in your life are tamed. You seek self-fulfillment, memorable experiences, personal growth. You strive to be the best you can be. And now that you've satisfied your other needs, you're now motivated more than ever to become your best inner self. What can you accomplish? When one has reached this tier, they will often attend to their specific passions or desires. Their thoughts are now wandering to the things that truly reflect them, the things they care about personally on a deeper level. Perhaps you strive to make a life-changing scientific discovery. Maybe your heart turns to raising humans with the inner beauty you strive for an ideal guardian, parent, caretaker, or teacher. Maybe you're focused on becoming not only financially stable, but successful as well, proud of the wealth and growth around you. Or perhaps your heart lies with the arts, realizing your creativity. You turn to your music, your writing, your paintings, inventions that can change the world or stir emotions in the hearts of those who experience them. Maybe you ask yourself, what is the meaning of life? Perhaps your motivation has been lost and you ponder what it is you need, who it is you are, what will satisfy your aching heart. And you'll realize everyone's answer to that question we so often ask is different. After all, it's the meaning you put to your life. Perhaps to motivate you to find it, you need to satisfy your body and mind's fundamental needs first. And then you may find your mind turning to what it is that is secretly in your heart the potential that lies there, to come face to face with exactly who you were all along and to see that you are quite satisfied with them. Thanks so much for watching. Which tier do you hope to satisfy to become more motivated to achieve self-actualization? Can you tell which tier you're currently in? Feel free to share with us your wandering thoughts in the comments below. What is the meaning of life? What's your answer? If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like it and share it with someone you think would benefit from hearing about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time, Psych2Goers.